right. Hi, Todd. How you doing? I'm doing great. And yourself? I'm doing good, man. So let's just hop right into it. Um, I wanted to ask you first, because throughout the game, we saw you have a lot of moments where it kind of didn't seem like you knew what was going on. And then you would reveal in the diary rooms that you actually were kind of playing up on that. So I wanted to ask you, can you tell me more about that strategy of kind of pretending not to know what was going on in the game? Well, in a sense of not knowing what's going on, like I didn't watch a whole lot of the show, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Like you just make good relationships with people. Like in a sense of not knowing what's going on is like kind of the rules of the game. But with that being said, I would ask just stupid questions and mm -hmm. just try to stay under the radar, ask for reassurance all the time, ask if I'm okay. But in reality, I really didn't give a fuck about any of it mm -hmm. <laughs> because, like, I, I just played my own game to not even just be that first person voted out because that was my first goal. Mm -hmm. So just making it to where I even got just was was just blew my expectations as a whole. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, in regards to this act, I, I did act uh, really dumb the whole time and I had to downplay, like, a lot of stuff. And I, I didn't, but like, it's like a, it's a weird thing because I didn't know a whole lot at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's all good. But I, uh -huh. I'm a fast learner. <laughs> yeah, no, you're able to pick up on it. And it's good, like you said, that you made it to where you did and you didn't even expect that. Um, so I wanted to ask also, because at the beginning of the game, you kind of worked a lot with the girls. You were working a lot with um, Spicy, Bailey, and then some of the other girls. And then we saw at Movie Night Madness, you kind of made the decision to nominate Avery and kind of target Kayla as well. And I kind of wanted to get more of your thought process on what made you kind of not want to work with them more and want to target target them at the Movie Night Madness. Um, well, I... I just knew that uh, Kayla was targeting me at a point. So me and Tola actually had a conversation two days before the movie Night Massacre. And that's literally how it turned literally what we were going to do, but in an HOH situation. But just mm -hmm. so happened it fell in a room one day and it was just there. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Tola went in and soon as Tola put up the name i knew exactly what he was thinking because we already discussed it so mm -hmm. it was just a very very lucky situation but in the end it didn't it was a big backfire with that being said as well so <laughs> yeah you <laughs> still worked. you still made it out though and and like it's good that you did make it towards the end of the game because we saw you end up winning your three po you won three povs in a row actually which is really impressive and when you won your first power veto, it was top seven and Avery and, and, and um, Bailey were on the block. And I wanted to ask you about that decision with Bailey, because even though you and Bailey were really close and she was nominated, you didn't end up using the power veto on her. And we kind of heard a little bit about it, but I, I wanted to ask you, why didn't you end up using the veto on Bailey when she was on the block? Um, she didn't want me to use, well, it was more of a group decision between me, Bailey, and Spice because we didn't want any of them. We knew if Bailey stayed on the block, she's going to be safe, but mm -hmm. we wasn't sure if Spicy went on the block and we didn't want to take the chance with losing Spicy. So we just decided to keep it the uh, same. But if Bailey did ask me to use it, I would have had to use it because, like I said, she saved me that week. Mm hmm. So uh, it, it was a it was a group decision and we were all on board and fine with it. So it works, worked for me, works for them. Yeah. And speaking of that, it, because it was like more so safe and spicy, like you said. But um, later on at Final Five, we saw you be a part of this plan um, to backdoor spicy. And when you won the veto, it kind of helped with that plan as well. And you have been working with spicy for a while. And then you and Bailey kind of got on board with the plan to take Spicy out of the game. So what made you personally like decide that you didn't feel like Spicy was good for your game at that moment? Um, just observing and hearing different situations because I would go up and take a lot of naps <laughs> and I just watch because like that's another thing that what, what I damn played, but mm -hmm. like what I used in, as my favor. I'd watch where everyone would be going and who they would be talking to. But 
a lot of it don't line up when they would talk to me about things and I would be like, well, I see you guys talking like four or five, six times a day. So mm -hmm. can't bullshit a bullshitter. Right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically, well, that was a part of my strategy and along with my dumb question, because I found I'd have to be very, very observant where I didn't know a whole lot about the game, but that's also something along with I'm pretty mm -hmm. good at reading people worked in my favor. Mm -hmm. Okay. That so, answered the question. Yeah, no, it did actually. It was good. So um, with that, Spicy ended up getting fifth place and then you were in final four. And in this final four situation, I'm curious if you would have won that final four veto and Lexus didn't win it. Do you think that, what do you think you would have did with your eviction vote? Because then it would have left Anthony and Lexus on the block. So who do you think you would have evicted in that moment? Anthony. All right. <laughs> okay, so. Just, we just would have added to, well, that would have been four vetoes in a row, then taking out the biggest yeah. player and probably arguably one of the best players to play the game. So it would just make me look good for injury, I believe, if I were to make it. Mm -hmm. And now you are going to be. Not jury, uh, sorry. Sorry to cut you off. Final Are three, not jury. <laughs> oh yeah, I I got what you meant. It would have been it would have been a good, it would have been a good um a good move for you. So yeah. now you are in the jury house, and now you have a deciding vote for one of these three to win the game. So I'm curious to know at this moment if you had to rank who you would vote to win most, um, then the middle, and then who you would vote to win least of the three remaining people, and kind of tell me why. Um, Bailey, just because we were day day oneers, so I'd like to end off strong with her. And not only that, she deserves it. She played an amazing game. She got along with everyone. She's just she's just a, even a, even as a besides a game player, she's a great person overall. Mm -hmm. But that's not what I would look at either. It would be who was grinding out literally seventy days in that house, and she definitely fits that profile. Um. Then it would be Anthony. We're just, I just like Anthony, and he played a strong game, very manipulative, but hey, it's big brother. That's the way she goes. And he, his, well, his social game is just out of this world and just getting people to do what he, what he wants them to do and get people to target other people to do all his work for him. It's just something that you got to respect too, right? But, I don't know if the other jurors feel the same way. I don't think so, but I guess you'd have to ask them that yourself. And Lexus, I feel, just posted through the game through Matt, Tola, and Anthony. So I just, looking at it from a game perspective, as a person, she's a great person, yada, yada. But from a game perspective, that's why I would have to put her last because it's – I only I basically know more about her personal and look at her in a personal way than I do a game way because I feel like there's not a whole lot done there. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, only a few more questions. I want to ask you because here at the Reality Kingdom, we like to keep it real. And I just want to ask you, do you feel like you played this game too real or were you not real enough throughout the game? Um. I've done that's it's kind of a hard question. I don't really know because there was like I tried because I wasn't really like my funniness, like, like being just probably weird and just <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's that's a really weird question because it's really hard to stick to yourself. Like, yeah, I was loyal mm -hmm. to the people I needed to be loyal with. But, like, I can't say I was 100% myself because the environment is just very tough to stay true mm -hmm. and just, like, probably not bullshit here and there, just tell people what they want to hear. So I guess it can be a little split in between that question, the question, like, half and half. <laughs> yeah, I like that answer. That's a good answer. Um, all right, and my last question is, if you could go back in the game and change one thing about the way you played, what would it be and why? I wouldn't really change anything. Like I said before, it's I made it 
way further than I expected, but the mm -hmm. Bailey's HOH, I knew to answer as soon as Arissa said locked in. So I'd like to go back to that day. Because <laughs> <laughs> rather than keeping it on reset and wait, getting that extra two or three seconds, that's all I needed. I switched to the answer. As mm -hmm. soon as she said locked, I, my, I was just like, that's wrong. Because mm -hmm. then the light bulb went off and then that literally would have put me into the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. And the answer to the tiebreaker was two hundred or two oh nine, and I just would have averaged out all the uh, shaker cups with twenty, with ten people. Even though there was eight, I thought there was ten, but, but it still would have brought me up to two hundred. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you still would have ended up probably you you potentially could have won that final final four H O H then you would have been in the final three if that was the case. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's so. Oh, I'm just trying not to think about that too much, but I'm a type of person that. I have it. It is what it is attitude and you just got to move on. So, yeah, that's really good. All right. Thank you for speaking with me. That was all I had. It was great talking to you, man. And I'll see you nice later. Nice talking to you, too.